Thanks for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to go back to my wheelhouse. I'm going back to IPAs. Uh, I've done a few episodes with without IPAs, um, some different stuff, which is fun, but I like to get back to uh, my IPAs from time to time. Uh, the one we have today is actually from a brewery called Breakside Brewery. Uh, the interesting thing is they say that they are out of Portland, Oregon, but then in the fine print it says brewed and bottled by Breakside Brewery in Milwaukee, Oregon. Yes, there is a Milwaukee, Oregon spelled differently than the other Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, but this is just their straight up IPA. It's actually a Great American Beer Festival gold medal winner, I'm told, from 2014. Uh, this bottle was given to me by Emily Bowling, so thank you very much, Emily. She brought it out from Oregon. Um, she is a workhorse for me, so I really appreciate that. She brings beer out to me anytime she's coming. She says, hey, you know, send me a list of what you're looking for. Uh, a lot of times I just kind of trust her, and I say, you know, here are a few things I might be looking for, but anything additional, just I trust you. And she has not missed yet. She hasn't had a single one that I've been like, bleh. So, thank you, Emily. So this is the uh, Breakside IPA. Oh, there's a little, you know, folding chair. Nothing real crazy interesting about the label, but that's not really what matters, is it? It's all about the flavor. And the aroma. And the aroma. There's no alcohol by volume on the bottle, um, which, whatever, I don't really care about that. Um, assuming since it's an IPA, it's probably somewhere around 7-ish. There you go. You can see the nice little folding chair. Anyway, uh, very clear, uh, obviously filtered. It's got some nice, decent, uh, big bubbled head on the top. Uh, very amber orange coloration to it. Looks nice. Uh, let me get a. Oh, woo! Okay, very West Coast IPA type smell to it. it smells dank. It smells really dank. It's got such like deep, rich grapefruit flavor um, notes in it. Uh, I'm going to be honest, of like all the IPAs I've ever smelled, this probably smells the most grapefruity, in my opinion. Like, it smells like the pink grapefruit that you get, so it's a little bit like acidic. Um, mm, it actually kind of like tickles my nose a little bit with that kind of acidy note. It smells great. It just smells like straight up grapefruit, honestly, and like that dank note to go with it. Other than that, I mean, that's pretty much all there is, but... That smells amazing to me. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Lots of grapefruit up front. Gives way to like a, you know, grapefruit rind type flavor at the end because of the bittering on it. Uh, honestly, though, it's a little bit lighter in body than I expected it to be based on the smell because of that like dankness usually to me kind of translate to you know, more of like a medium type body. I'd say this is actually a pretty light body for an IPA. But that tastes very good. And this is still pretty cold. So I'm assuming that as it continues to warm up, that uh, grapefruit flavor is gonna become more and more vibrant. And then that um, the bittering on the end is going to go down a little bit more in comparison. Um, but the bittering right at this point is not too much. It's very awesome. It's kind of like if you just take um, you take a bite of like a wedge of grapefruit and you get the grapefruit first, but then you bite a little bit of the actual rind off. So you're tasting that at the end, but very nice, very well crafted. I see why this was a, you know, medal winner at the great American beer festival. So Breakside Brewery, awesome stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Emily. Uh, anyone out there who can get their hands on this beer, highly recommend it. If you're an IPA fan, um, as far as grapefruit goes, it really doesn't get much better than this. Thanks everyone for checking this episode out and check out the next one.